Hi, I'm Finn Peacock. How many solar panels do you need for your house? It's a good question. Before I answer that question, let's talk about solar system sizing. Now, you shouldn't size a solar system by the amount of solar panels in the system. Why? Because a solar panel can be anything between about 40 watts and 400 watts in size. So say a 10 panel solar system could produce anything between 400 watts and four kilowatts, which is a big difference. You define a solar system size by the amount of kilowatts it will produce at its peak. At its peak means in perfect conditions. So a two kilowatt solar system will produce two kilowatts of power in perfect conditions, uh, midday, strong sun, not too hot, no clouds. Here's a graph that shows you what the output of a solar system looks like. Okay, see where the peak is? That's the size of the solar system. So contrary to a lot of popular belief, a two kilowatt system, for example, is not going to produce two kilowatts all day long. If it's a really nice sunny day, no clouds, not too hot, because heat hurt, actually hurts solar power, you'll get two kilowatts for maybe two hours a day if you're lucky. Okay, so that's how you define the size of a solar system, by the peak kilowatts. So how on earth do you use that number to decide how big your solar system should be based on your electricity usage? Well, there's a really simple rule of thumb. For every kilowatt of solar system on your roof, you will get, average throughout the year, about four kilowatt hours of electricity. So that's four units of electricity for every, every day for every kilowatt of solar system that's on your roof. So um, a lot of solar, solar sales guys out there, um, they'll say, what's your electricity bill? Okay, so that translates to average about 16 kilowatt hours a day, 16 units of electricity a day, 16 divided by four. Okay, that's four. So you need four kilowatt solar system to cover your electricity use. Unfortunately, it's not actually that simple to calculate the optimum size. If you use 16 kilowatt hours of electricity a day and you have a four kilowatt solar system that generates on average 16 kilowatt hours a day, you will offset your energy use, but you probably won't offset your energy bill. Now why is a quite a long answer and I've created another video to explain that. Um, look for the video called Getting Paid for Your Solar Electricity. Um, so suffice to say, that calculating the size of solar system you need to offset your bill financially is relatively complicated. Now, I've created a calculator that's pretty good. Um, I think it's self-explanatory. Um, have a go at it, it's here. It looks like this. Um, if that's all too much, once you've had a play with that, get your local solar company to work it out for you, but ask them um, what they've taken into account. If they don't ask you the question, for example, um, what time of day do you use electricity? What time of day are people in the house? What appliances do you use? Then they can't really answer that question. So just be aware that it is, because of the different feed-in tariffs, it's quite a difficult question to answer in the current environment. So how many solar panels do you need for your home? It's actually quite a complicated answer. Um, use my calculator if you're comfortable with it. Um, it gives you the payback based on lots of different scenarios, how much you export, how much you import. Look at the video I made about getting paid for your solar energy. And if all that fails, find a good solar company that can sit down, go through your bill and work out scientifically, mathematically, what size solar system will offset your bill based on your state's feed-in tariff and your electricity usage patterns.